Question 4B. A company offering airport shuttle services has a limited number of shuttles with which to transport clients to the airport. They have the following clients booked for a specific day and need to figure out how to accommodate all of them. Then it lists five clients with different times that they need their shuttle needs to depart and how long the travel time is. Assume that the travel time indicated provides enough time for any shuttle to travel to a client and to transport them to the airport and that the departure time indicated provides the time at which the shuttle will depart to pick the client up. And then part one of this question says define the variables for the CSP. Okay, so that's quite easy in a scheduling problem. The variables are going to be, I'm going to call them Trip one, trip two, trip three, trip four, and trip five. Okay, so with the variables, in identifying the variables, we need to ask the question, what, what are we trying to figure out? And in this instance, we're trying to figure out how many buses we need to to get the shuttle going properly. Part two says to find the domain for each variable in the CSP. So domain is what are these variables going to hold? This is going to be V1 to BN, where N is minimum buses needed to reach goal okay next it says draw a constraint graph for the problem so to draw a constraint graph I'm going to make life a little easier and I'm just going to put the details of the trip to identify the constraints so Trip one was from nine. It is a 35 minute trip, and that means it will end at 9.35. Trip two was starting at 9.30. It's a 45 minute trip, which means it will end at 10.15. Trip three, starts at 9.45, it's a 15 minute trip, which means it ends at 10 o'clock. Trip four starts at 10.10, 10. it's a long trip, it's one hour and 30 minutes, which means it will end at 11.40, and trip five, Starts at ten forty-five. It's a twenty-minute trip, which means it's going to end at eleven oh five. Okay, so now I've just identified the constraints, and now to draw the constraint graph, we we'll start off with trip one. Nine to nine thirty-five. It has a constraint on trip two because. Trip 2 is departing at 9.30 and Trip 1 wouldn't have arrived back yet. Is there anything else being affected? No, it isn't, because everything else is starting after 9.35. So we move on to Trip 2. 9.30 to 10.15, we've already identified that there's a constraint on Trip 1. But there's also a constraint on Trip 3 because... 10.15, the arrival back of trip 2, is after 9.45. And there's a constraint on trip 4, because that is starting at 10.10, .10 and that only arrives back at 10.15. Nothing else. So we've done trip two. Trip three, we've identified 
constraint between trip 2 and trip 3. Nothing else is being affected because it arrives back at 10 and trip 4 and trip 5 are after 10 o'clock. If we go to trip 4 at 10.10, 10, we've identified that constraint. There's also going to be a constraint on trip 5 because this is still away when trip 5 needs to depart. And then finally, trip five, we've identified the constraints for that. Okay, so here we've identified the constraint graph for this problem. The next thing we need to do is it says how many shuttles are needed to ensure everybody gets to their flights on time. So we're going to start off with the minimum number of buses, which would be one. And if we run out of variables, uh, values for each variable we're going to uh, expand by one unit each time and to decide where we start I'm going to start with the thing that has the most constraints which is trip 2 and I'm going to go bus 1 so if bus 1 were to to go so we select bus 1 we need a bus for trip 1 and trip 3 so we're going to put at least one bus. Trip 1 can't take it because Trip 2 has already got that bus. So we're going to put bus 2 there. So we've increased the range of our values. So I'm going to put bus 2, bus 2, bus 2, bus 2. Okay. Trip 1 can't use those buses, but over here, it could Trip 3 could use bus 2, and we can see that bus 2 is available for Trip 4. Now, because Trip 4 is using bus 2, Trip 5 can use one bus, or bus 1. So, in total, two buses are needed and that's it